warm, or you stayed at home, maybe you guys worked. Well, I went to Wyoming snowmobiling, actually. And before I went, I was like, I got six years of snowmobiling in Wisconsin under my belt. I got 6,000 miles about, I'm ready for this. Well, when I got there, after riding for three days, I hit a truck and a tree, and I rolled my sled seven times. To find out that snow really in Wyoming is a lot different than snow really in Wisconsin. And one of the main differences is the safety gear out there. In Wisconsin, you don't wear much safety gear. I mean, you wear your snowmobile gear, but you don't carry a backpack or a probe or a shovel. And one of the new safety gears that they have is an ABS backpack out there, or otherwise called an avalanche airbag, which is used for skiing, snowmobiling, or any other mountain activity you do while there's snow on the ground. So as you can tell, there's many different styles to these ABS backpacks. You have this one, which has two airbags. And with the two airbags, avalanche.org says it's more safe to wear that one than these other two, they recommend, because if one accidentally doesn't go off, you still have the other airbag that's blown up and it'll help protect you. But these other two are just as safe if they are connected right and hooked up. And for these backpacks, okay, so you wear a normal backpack, like to go to school. And some people out in Wyoming wear a normal backpack with their stuff in it. And this backpack, as you can kind of tell, it has a belt on it. And the reason for the belt, and it also has a strap across your chest, is so when you're in an avalanche, you're going to be tossed around. You're going to also be trying to pull on the lever, and these back bags are going to fill up, and it's going to toss you around. Well, if you're wearing a regular backpack, it's just going to slide right off. But if you have these straps on, which are metal, according to avalanche.org, it's going to help and it's going to stay on your back so that this bag is going to protect you and keep you above the snow. And like I said, this handle right here, there's many different styles, but it's usually right on your straps. And if you pull on the handle, it inflates your bag to just like this or the other different bag options. But this backpack has just as many compartments as a normal backpack, and it, the bags does not take up a lot of space because it folds up really nicely and it gets vacuumed into the backpack. And it's only like part of the bag, so it actually makes more padding on your back, but many people complain that it's a little extra weight. But for me, saving my life, or adding a little, you know, saving my life, adding a little bit of weight, or wearing just a lighter backpack and not being protected. So how this backpack works exactly, you get an avalanche, this guy is a skier and he got into an avalanche. And if you wear the backpack, with, or if you don't wear a backpack, you will go down underneath the snow. And if you're wearing a backpack, as you can tell, it will inflate eventually and you're going to be floating above the snow. The reason for that is when you wear the backpack and you have the airbags go off, you're going to be more surface area and causing you to be above the snow because a bigger object in an avalanche tends to float above the snow. And the survival weight with an ABS backpack, in Russia they've been using them for about five years, is 97%, where without a backpack, it's 53%. So that's a major difference. And according to avalanche.org, again, they say that if you are in an avalanche, and you get underneath the snow, it takes about 15 minutes, you have a 90% of, of survival rate. But that's 15 minutes you have to make sure your friends are somehow trying to find you. Where if you are under for 35 minutes, you have a 35% survival rate. But again, you have to make sure your friends are able to find you. And if you wear this backpack, you're floating above the snow, so you're either very visible or you are above the snow completely already, so you don't need your friends to help you get above the snow and be dug out. Now the cost of these backpacks is not cheap. According to the ABS website, it goes from anywhere $980 to $1,300, which is, again, a lot of money to an extent. How much is your life worth? If you are wearing this backpack and it protects you and you don't need to replace them, Every, if you deploy, deploy it and you 
gets stuck in an avalanche, you do not need to replace it. You just need to replace the valve. So, a hundred or nine hundred and eighty dollars, you know, if you do the cheap end, is not worth a life. If you cannot spend it. And I'm going to show you guys how this backpack works exactly. Super short video. So it takes about five seconds, as you can tell. You just pull down the strap, and then it blew up. That's all it is to it. Nothing much. Um, and the history behind this, um, U.S. is starting to get these backpacks. They started coming in uh, for three years now, but only one or two, a couple people have them. When I was riding in Wyoming, um, even though they are shown and the statistics show that they are really good and they're safe, it only had about a handful of people. Where in Canada, almost everyone that rides the mountains have them. And that is an ABS backpack.